Let's do this, baby. All right. How's it going, everybody? My name is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. The world made it that way. I didn't make it that way. The world made it that way. Oh, world's greatest living artist. You are so great. You're so great, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you're the world's greatest living artist. You're so awesome, yeah. All right, here we go. Do a landscape, because I can't, right? Because I can't. This whole thing is, can you or can you not? And by the way, guys, those of you who are like, dude, I don't like your style. It's okay. I'm a big boy. I can take it. What I can't take, what I can't take, is uh, that you happen to be an artist and you're not creating artwork. That's what I can't take. That I have a hard time with. I have a, I have a hard time with that. Mucho fuerte. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mucho bueno. a little treat for you guys because well it's also a little treat for me but some people are like dude I want to see you paint paint for me I'm like all right all right all right all right it's what I do I can't complain it's what I do I do love painting By the way, guys, I am putting together my my video courses for you guys to uh, if you guys want to learn how to, how I do my deal here, how I paint. Uh, because some people are like, dude, how come you paint this way? How come you paint that way? I'll explain to you guys how come I paint this way and that way. Uh, you're not gonna learn it. I gotta tell you this. You're not gonna learn it just by watching YouTube videos of of me painting or anyone else painting. Uh, you you need like a like a full explanation and practice, of course, of the whole deal, right? It doesn't happen just because you happen to, to watch a video. You're gonna you're gonna have to uh, learn a couple of things and put them to practice. That's all. Maybe more than a couple, if I may. <laughs> Look at that! Ooh la la! I love this. Oh, good. I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> I'm not afraid anymore, guys. My my days of fear have passed. My days of fear have passed. See, this is what I this is what I what I've learned, guys. If you just keep going, there, you, 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 first of all, you can't ruin the painting. This this takes a while to understand, okay? If you haven't figured this out yet, you cannot ruin a painting. I have never ruined a painting. I have given up on a painting, but I have never ruined the painting, ever in my life. Never ruined the painting. I know some people would beg to differ that, but I assure you, those who who don't believe me, uh, maybe. Uh, I don't know, believe in, in fairy tales or something. I know it seemed like the other way around, but I'm going to tell you guys, look. Never have I ruined the painting. As a matter of fact, someone who has thought that I ruined the painting, 
right? Has probably never painted enough. You have to paint enough to realize you don't ruin paintings. Regardless of what you do, regardless of where you lean, you will always, no matter what, paint the way that you're that you're supposed to paint. Like regardless of what you do, you cannot have more skill set than what you have at that given point. This is a tricky thing to get. It took it took me a good while to understand. Believe me, it took me a while to get. You cannot, no matter what I do, no matter where I go, no matter what. You see, there's this artist. That they spend a lifetime learning how to paint, and then they're and then they're all fucking worried when they're painting as if they're going to ruin something. You cannot ruin it. There is no way you can ruin it. You can dislike it at that moment. And, and, and you'll come up with all kinds of reasons as to why it's horrible. You, but, but it's not true. If you give it time, you leave it alone and you watch it again, you realize that you were just being negative at that moment. Or you were being uh, stressed about something else. Or some other shit was happening in your life. You cannot ruin a painting. This, this takes all the power back to you because no matter what you do you can all only paint as good as you can paint so it, it this is this is such a it was such a liberating thing anyways i'm sharing with you guys something that took me an arm and a leg to figure it out you can never ruin a painting you will always and only paint as good as you are you cannot paint better than you are you you will get better but it will be in increments, little increments. You know, one month later, two months later, a little bit increments. You know, one year later, maybe a little bit better increments, right? Depending on if you're learning from someone or you're trying to do something specific. You can you can ruin a painting if you're trying to if you're trying to paint something realistic and then and then and then it comes out like that in your mind, right? But 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 even then, you cannot ruin the painting because you can only paint as good as you paint. It it is it is uh, impossible by nature. Impossible. <laughs> so when I hear artists, oh man, I ruined that painting. Dude, you don't even know what you're talking about. You don't paint enough to know, to know that. You do not paint enough to understand that you will never ruin a painting. You will dislike it. You will have sour feelings about it. But the sour feelings are not about the painting. The sour feelings are where you are in life right now. You may be going through some rough patch or, or you didn't sell the work and you're upset or, or some other bullshit, but, but it's got nothing to do with the painting. A painting can never be ruined. Okay, I know I've been hammering this, but I, I want to, I've been liberated and I want to help liberate at least a couple more that may be watching this. I hope, my, my sincere hopes is that maybe you get liberated, I don't know, from this bs affliction that is imposed by our minds and by other artists who are like man you ruined that Dude, you don't know what you're talking about there's no way i can ruin it if you think it's bad well i'm sorry this is as shitty as i paint i can i cannot paint better this is as good as i get you know it'll it'll, it'll go like this like the water right like the ocean it'll go like this but it's not gonna go, oh yeah, all of a sudden, you know, one day you're like, oh my God, I just now look, if I compare it, it's night and day, of course not. It's just you messing with your own head. You cannot ruin it. I figure this shit out. I'll tell you guys how. I figure this shit out by spending, yes, you guys are in my studio right now, by spending about 14 hours a day in an art studio. And this is not due to smelling the fumes because my paint, I paint with walnut oil. <laughs> so I don't really I don't really have fumes here. I have huge doors in my studio where, where uh, the smell gets liberated. <laughs> and there's hardly any smell here because I use walnut oil. Uh, very expensive stuff. About a hundred bucks a gallon, but I tend I, I I use that because I think it's just it's just so better, so much better to use that. Anyways, guys, if you're all thinking, oh man, I ruined the painting, I ruined the painting. I want to tell you guys, you did not ruin the painting. You did not ruin a painting. 
You do not ruin paintings. It is impossible to ruin a painting. It's not even real. It's made up. Someone, someone suckered you into believing that you that you actually can ruin a painting. It, this is how I paint. It's not going to go better or worse overnight. It's impossible. It's it's freaking delusional, actually. You know, I can spend a lot of time on it, and and I can I can copy a photograph. I think just about anyone who can paint can do that, right? You, you sit there long enough, you'll copy a photograph. But but that's not the intention. The intention is to paint, right? So when I paint, and I'm not I'm not trying to like, oh, where's the little leaf? Where's the? I'm not trying to create something. Uh, realistic, hyper-realistic, or copy a photograph, or spend so much time that I'm trying to, I don't know, paint stuff like that. Oh, thank you so much. When I'm not trying to do that, I'm just trying to paint, right? And you hear people like, oh my god, I ruined the painting, or, or oh, you ruined the painting, you put too much green. No, 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 I didn't ruin the painting. Someone doesn't like it, someone else loves it. I had people, I had people return a painting Right? They're like, oh my god, it just didn't go well in my, in my, over my sofa or whatever, right? And then the spouse would say, I just really didn't like it, I'm sorry, my wife is being nice, right? <laughs> and then two weeks later, I show it to someone else, and then they have tears on their eyes, and they cry, and they say they, they, they've never seen such beauty, they need to buy it. This is why it's perspective, guys. It's perspective. So if perspective exists between clients, between collectors, don't you think it exists in your own mind between moments of how you feel? One day you feel great, another day you feel not so great, another day you feel... This is why, this is why creating artwork has everything to do with certainty. Your certainty goes up, man, you're a killing machine. All of a sudden you become Picasso. Your certainty goes low. You feel like no matter how many years you've been trained, you're gonna feel like you're 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 not creating anything good. You're gonna feel like everything you're creating is is crap. And then someone else watching you create, right? It's gonna say, "Oh my God, this is the best thing I've ever seen." And then you're gonna get upset. This has happened to me. You get upset. You're gonna be like, "Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. This is my worst work." And they're just looking at you like, "Dude, you're an idiot." I'll pay you for this right now. I want to take it. I love it. Why are you hating on yourself? This is very common, by the way. So, so if perspective exists in collectors and buyers and people in the eye of the beholder, don't you think that perspective also exists in you? Where there's moments you have highs, there's moments you have lows. And when you have highs, you love what you're doing. When you have lows, you hate everything you're doing. You're like, I hate it. I ruined it. Blah, 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 blah. Of course not. You just gave up on it. You never ruined it. You gave up on it because of the way you feel. Guys, I'll leave you with that little piece of wisdom here from the art studio. You guys are kicking it here in my art studio. Bam! I got a lot to paint. I got a lot to package, man. Oh, look at this. I was, I was uh, very much impressed by Matisse. And I started doing something very similar to Mr. Matisse. Of course, not similar in the sense of the figure to work. Not the detail or whatever they figure to work oh my god we gotta send this stuff out we gotta do it by the way i'm almost ready to do some uh large works more large works look at my my homage to uh night watch by rembrandt my homage, I call them homages because they, they sound cool, right? It's like, it's a loosely faded copy. It's my homage. Vermeer, baby. The beach. Sorry about that, guys. My wife decided to call me in the middle of, uh, in the middle of this. She's really calling me to, to order pizza for the kids. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, oh, I love that. Listening to your video hit my head. Glad to see I'm back watching another live. 
after coming back from... Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. I wasn't reading it right. I hope you get better. I hope, I hope you get well soon. I'm sorry that happened to you, Dina. Take care of yourself. So there you guys have it. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. And hey, look. You can never ruin a painting, okay? Never. Don't fall under that spell. It's, it's, it's bad juju. Everything you touch. I tell yourself this. This is the shit that I tell myself. I have the Midas touch. Midas touch. Midas touch. Everything I touch turns into gold. I'm like, I'm like, boom, gold, baby. Boom, gold, baby. <laughs> Some artists hate this. Some artists hate that I say this. But look, guys, if you don't feel this way about your work, if you don't feel this way about your work, good luck. Good luck making a living, making a living as an artist. Good luck making an impact as an artist. You have to, you have to raise your certainty. People won't listen to you. People won't care if you don't raise your certainty. Stop playing the humble thing. I know so many artists play the humble card. They're like, oh my God, well, you know, I'm just, I'm really, I'm a purist. I'm trying. Oh my God. Everybody's playing the fucking humble card. Be mean. <laughs> Stop playing the humble card. You know, claim, claim your thing, you know. I spent 12 to 14 hours in the studio. I got to claim it. It's good. It's great. It's the world's greatest living artist. Look, it was supposed to say badass right there, but there was, you know, we had to change it. They didn't allow it. So now it just says Trujillo. <laughs> How do you price your work? I price my work. Uh, I price my I, I started pricing my work by what the galleries thought. And then I moved away from that and I started pricing my work by what people were willing to give me in the beginning. At least what I thought, right? I'll give you 50 bucks for that. I'll give you 100 for that. I'll give you 200. I'll give you 1,000, depending on the size and whatnot. And then it just kind of came together, right? All pricing of the work, by the way, is, is made up, okay? Just to let you guys know that. All pricing of the work is made up. It's made up by the galleries. It's made up by the artists. It, it's, it's not even true. It's not a, it's not a commodity. You know, it's not, it's not a lamp, right? So the way I price the work is something that I have worked on now. I have, I, have, I, have, I have so many works of art in different sizes that it just clicked, right? It just makes so much sense. It's like, oh, okay. Unless I'm auctioning something. Like when I'm auctioning something on eBay, it, you know, stuff starts at like 99 cents or some stuff starts at like 200 bucks just to kind of get people, you know, get people going into collecting my work. But when I, when I put it up on a gallery or I put it up for retail or whatever... It has a very set price, uh, and it's it's. I price it by size now. It's just size. It's not sentimental value. It's not. I worked more on this than that. It's just size. I've I've worked I worked a pretty good system for size. Uh, I'll show you guys that later. It's, it's not complicated. It's very. If it's complicated, it's not. You know, <laughs> it's by size. So for example, something like this on retail. This is a twenty by twenty inches. Something like this. Framed, not unframed, something like this framed and, and you know in a retail space would easily go for fifteen hundred bucks. Anywhere between fifteen and seventeen hundred bucks on a on a retail space. And and depending on depending on the gallery, depending on the place, uh, sometimes they'll bump up the price. I mean it's sometimes it's even out of my hands and I, I, I I'm being serious with this. Uh they, if, especially if they buy it, you know, especially if they buy it. And all, I know a lot of artists don't like this. They get upset. They're like, why are they raising the price? Dude, because it's, it's a higher end place. It's like, have you ever bought a, a bottle of water in Disneyland? Try that. You know, it's just, just it, it's a different place. It's not Circle K. It's not 7-Eleven, dude. It's Disneyland. Of course, the bottle of water is going to cost five bucks. Probably more. I don't know. I haven't been in Disneyland in a while. So that's how it is. You know, it's, it's depending on the place, depending on the, on the, for, for them, not for me. For me, it's the same price all across. But for them, it's just depending on the place. If the place is high-end, if it's a high-end hotel and they're, doing a, they're hosting a show, uh, I, have, I have art dealers that buy my work. I have art, art dealers that buy my work and they will, they will host art shows. Like, they'll ask me permission, right? They'll be like, dude, we want to do this, blah, 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 blah. We want your blessing. Because uh, they're cool like that, right? 
can you send us some info and blah 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 if you can come that'd be even great sometimes they they, they want me to like go over there they'll even offer to pay the the plane ticket or the or the an airbnb or a hotel or whatever to show up because it raises the price if the artist shows up to the to the art show right uh and what they do is that they'll they'll create an art show at a hotel or something and uh by the way if you're if you're in business this is a great business <laughs> i've been looking at these guys man these guys make a pretty dull doing that uh so i'll sell them uh not full retail to them right because they're going to they're going to retail it so we'll work out deals and uh and sometimes sometimes depending if they're if they're like working with me enough uh we'll even we'll even do uh specific work right specific work specific sizes is what i mean specific work specific sizes uh for the for the event so if it's an event about something to do with like kentucky dirt i'm talking a lot right now to do with like and i haven't even had enough coffee to do with like kentucky derby or something like that then then the the, the artwork is going to be geared around horses okay because i don't have a problem painting horses picasso didn't have a problem painting different things and that's a very smart thing to do when you're an artist hmm when you when you get stuck on on one thing or one theme or one something you're you're limiting yourself that's another little tip man i gave you guys extra tips today all right guys take care i was supposed to say badass but it only says to he also we'll have to deal with that <laughs> look at that bam i got my coffee right there all right guys adios